Hi and welcome guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have some amazing stuff that we're gonna do. We're gonna be a little bit all around the workshop, but I already prepared something cool. I had an idea and I just couldn't get it go away from my brain. So I think and I hope that it's gonna be really sick detail on the car. And here we actually have the front bumper and I actually cheated now. Sanded the front lip on the front bumper down with a 320 and I made a line with some masking. Um, this is the line that I'm actually gonna hold. We're gonna lay some carbon fiber on the front bumper because I think that's gonna be cool. And then we're actually gonna fade from the green over to the carbon fiber in this line. I actually think that's gonna be sick. A really, really good detail. So comment in the comment section below. Do you actually agree with me? So we've been working a lot with the front bumper. I actually don't wanna get any epoxy that we're working with, with the carbon fiber onto the primer. And this uh, front bumper is finished for paint. So when we're done with the carbon fiber, we're gonna paint the whole thing. And uh, so I'm actually gonna just mask off on the other side in this line the whole way here. So welcome to today's video. In the paint booth right now and prepared as you saw, sand it down 320, masked it off with a lot of masking tape and then a lot of paper. It's really hard to actually get epoxy off the panels you don't want it to be on. You have to sand a lot and then you get imperfections and yada yada. So I just laid over the carbon fiber weave where I actually wanted, I have cut it somehow too big because uh, when I actually laid the epoxy on and it sticks to where I wanted to stick, then I go in with the scissor and just cut it up. I'm not going to cut the lines perfect right now because when the carbon fiber weave dries up, then I cut the lines perfectly with a really sharp knife or whatever you have to cut the weave with. I'm now actually gonna blend up the epoxy. You've seen me do that before. I'm actually gonna lay out the epoxy onto the weave, let it dry for over like one, two hours, and then lay another layer. So it's actually been a couple of days and for you to actually know the process of carbon fiber, it's a lot of layers and drying and layers and drying and layers. So me personally, I like to build up with epoxy because that gives you a really good base for uh, the roof, uh, especially when you heat up carbon fiber, as you know, in the US, it gets really, really hot in some states. I can actually show you so you know what I mean, but it's like you see the fiber structure when it gets heated up and most of the times that the epoxy uh, sinking into the fibers because it's twill, you have some space there. That's just uh, what I do. I put a, a lot of layers of epoxy and then I actually finish off with a few layers of clear coat. That's only to make it really, really shine and give that depth. But as I said, this is the uh, trunk lid that we did and here you can actually see this is only two layers of uh, epoxy and I actually had it out in the sun the whole day to bake it was really really hot today but as you can see here I'm gonna try to film this there you can actually see it you see the structure that's not nice I don't want this to be my finish after a couple of years so what I'm actually gonna do is gonna lay another uh, coat of epoxy the same for the front bumper as you can see, this is really, really rough, but it came out really, really sick. I'm gonna try to film from this way so you can actually see the carbon. That it's quite rough, but this is only the first layer of epoxy. So I'm actually used to lay three layers of uh, epoxy and then around about two layers of clear coat. 
And then of course, buff and polish. I'm almost done with the uh, roof of the car and I'm trying to film this as good as possible. Put in the sunroof uh, because of the headliner. Is actually with Royce Royce stars. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna put it right here. But again, over to the carbon fiber roof. And this is actually two layers of clear. I'm not really, really happy with it. So I'm gonna put two layers more the roof has to be really, really shiny. But as you can see, sunroof is in. And I put the light here just to show you the fibers. But I actually think this came out really, really good. As you can see, I have still some imperfections all in the clear coat. So I'm actually going to block this down again. 320, 500, 800, and then put a thick coat of clear. I think the roof came out sick. I actually want some help from you guys. A few of you, you noticed that I don't have the antenna left. So you can actually see here somewhere the old antenna was on. And I don't know. Should I put the old antenna on? Uh, should I paint it black? Should I try to make it in carbon fiber? Or should I just leave it in the car uh, and hope that I actually get signal? So what I mean, this is the OEM antenna and it sits in the middle of the roof. Help me out guys, I really don't know what to do. If I should have this, is that gonna destroy the cleanness of the car? So please comment in the comment section below, what would you do guys? Because I'm really chuffed, I, don't, I really don't know what to do. Because I think it's really, really clean without the antenna. Does this destroy the cleanness of the car? And another one, I, I know I'm gonna ask you for a lot, but I know that you can help me out because as, as usual, I'm alone in the workshop and I really don't know. So for you guys who haven't seen this progress, sorry, we're moving over to the engine now. For you guys who haven't actually seen what I've done with the engine, is that I actually put on a, a Nissan GTR manifold onto my VQ engine, and I actually did uh, like a cable delete plate on it. What I actually did this time, to adjust everything that it sits perfect. I made two mounts with some uh, cool hardware, especially on the sides and a few rail is going to be held by this i actually had to modify the uh, manifold cover from the gtr to actually fit better onto this engine i had to actually cut this up and move this section down a lot because i didn't want this spacing to be too much i would say because otherwise you're going to see the nasty uh, fuel rail that's actually under here but this is the, the engine, how it sits now. <sighs> and what I'm thinking about now. Okay, I painted the drive shaft, the diff, and everything like uh, force distributed in black with the touch of the green, right? How should we paint this engine? We have a lot to paint. And please, I need your help, guys. I know you are many out there watching the videos. I'm a little bit into making maybe the uh, GTR cover in carbon fiber, but is it too much? And if I actually have carbon fiber on, on the cover, we need to make the cable delete plate also in carbon fiber, just to match, I guess. As you can hear, I really don't know what to do. The clock is almost 12 o'clock. It's Sunday night and I'm gonna work tomorrow morning. I have to be there at six o'clock. So um, this is actually it for today. But of course, you're gonna follow me doing the lip on the front bumper, of course. And then we're actually gonna show you the process on the trunk. And then we're actually going over to clear coat. So yeah, I really hoped you enjoyed today's a little bit shorter video. And um, so as I always say, have a good morning, good evening, or good night wherever you are. Bye-bye.